everybody is addicted. Addiction doesn't happen just with alcohol and drugs, illegal drugs. Uh, addiction is not just happening with pornography and other areas of life. You know, everybody is, is lured into addiction. You may know it, you may not know it, but we are slaves today and we live like a slave. Our whole experience is like a slave. See, someone study your impulses and study your responses. And then they design a way to weaken your resistance and to appeal to your senses to lure you with a bait that is hard to say no all the time. It happens all the time. And they, they hire psychologists and psychiatrists to study human behavior and see how best to get you hooked. Now, not in a bad way, not addicted to drugs, not addicted to other things, but to span, to do a certain things, to, to keep coming back to the same products that gives you joy, that gives you pleasure, to keep coming back to a certain way of life so that you will keep buying and keep buying and keep purchasing and keep coming back and keep coming back. It is a big machine. Big data is being analyzed daily to see where you are. And that's why you got those emails. That's why you got those pop-ups. That's why you got certain things. Because once you click in there, all these impulses and digital notes will send to a certain big data machines there and they start analyzing your pattern, your style, and all these commercials and all these things. And the best way to appeal you, they will take away your resistance, will come to you and me. And that's the world that we are living in today. So in some ways, we are all addicted whether positively or negatively, whether in a bad way or benignly, or we are at least lured into addiction. And you know what? When it brings pain to you, when you finally find out that it's empty, that's when you wake up. That's when you wake up. And that's why it's so hard. It's so hard to say no when you have a smartphone and to hear a sermon and halfway through the sermon, you want to keep looking back at that because they are all informations that will keep you going. They will keep you stimulated. They are computer games that will keep you stimulated. That's more fun than listening to a, a pastor bubbling on the, on the pulpit here, right? It's hard to resist. And you know that, and I know that too. Like when you sit through a meeting, it's so hard to focus, right? So everybody has a smartphone and they just pretend that you are looking at your hands, but then there are things there that you keep looking at to keep, you know, to keep you stimulated, to keep you stimulated. We are all addicted to stimulation. You can't even sit still for five minutes and do nothing. You can't help it. I can't help it. We are all victims of addiction, just acknowledging it. And the most difficult one to get out of that enslavement are those that brings you pleasure and comfort. You see, those that brings you comfort and pleasure you don't want to get out. Hey, I want it. Hey, it's fun. And you fight against whoever that comes to your rescue. It's like, go away. I don't want to be helped. I'm so, have so much fun here. And that's called addiction. And some of you are in that state. I don't know what kind of addiction that you're experiencing. I don't know what kind of a thing that is putting you under bondage. But you are in that state right now. You know it's wrong. You know it's time to be aligned with Christ and be disciples of Jesus Christ, to be Christ-like in your life. And But sometimes there's too much lure, there's too much fun, and there's too much pleasure to leave them. You want to put yourself in there. But when you are like the Israelites, they are ready to get out. They don't want to stay in that state anymore. They recognize that they are slaves. We are slaves. And all the labors that we have done are given to serve and offer that to somebody else. And we have no say. We are being manipulated. We are being pushed. We are being lured into those things. Enough is enough. So they want to sign their doctor lines, sign their names on the doctor line to live and to follow Christ and to follow God. 